Hey guys, I have another tutorial for you today. Uh, a lot of people requested me to do something easy for beginners and also some of you wanted to know how I make my pictures as colorful and vibrant so I thought I'm just gonna combine those two because whatever I do with colors is actually really really simple and I use just one function in Photoshop so uh, if you're interested keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so here I have a picture pretty much straight from the camera. Uh, the only thing I did is I, I cropped the, the tree. And I always kind of start with a square crop because I can... It fits my Instagram and I can always crop it horizontally or vertically. I can pretty much make any other crop that I want from the square crop. That I'm going to pretty much uh, show you guys what a selective color does. And, and that's how I uh, color correct my pictures usually. I... Uh, tried a lot of different color correction techniques and this is the one that I really like and this is the one that I feel like it's it's really easy so I would always recommend you to start with duplicating your layer in case you want to come in case you messed up and you want to come back to uh, what you started from I'm gonna go to image I'm gonna go to adjustments curves okay and this is what I usually start off um, when I added any kind of picture um, this is kind of like contrast and brightness but I just love using curves for that so you're just gonna drag it down over here and drag it up just a little bit right here alright and yeah you can see how much contrast it already gives it to the picture the picture just pops so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to image, adjustments, and I'm going to choose selective color. Two things that I always, always do is I correct the skin tone and I correct the whole tonality of the picture. To correct the skin tone, I usually go into reds right here. And I usually put on absolute, which is just a more intense way of doing it. And over here on the yellow bar, I just kind of drag it down this uh, to the right side and then I usually kind of darken it up just a little bit like this okay press okay and then I'm just gonna zoom it in so you guys can see better how the skin tone changed right here so you can see how much more defined it looks and it's not as pale doesn't have that reddish tint anymore um, yeah, this is super easy and super quick. That's what I always do. So the next thing I'm going to do is change the tonality of the picture. So again, you go to selective color. You're going to choose neutral right here. And I, it depends if you want to go cool or warm on the picture. So if you want to go warm, you choose the yellow again over here and you drag it right to the right side and you can see how much warmer it looks already. You can also drag it down this way to make it more reddish or this way to make it more green. Again, you can experiment with all these different colors and adjust it to your liking. Um, what I usually do is I like the warmer tone but not too much so I drag it to the warm side just a little bit and to balance it out I just drag it up right here just a tiny bit okay and I'm gonna just show you how it changes the picture again okay and the last thing that you can do is just streak up some colors that you would like to change it's gonna be different for every different picture here I just noticed you know this picture clearly has a lot of blue which is really beautiful so I thought I'm gonna make it even more blue so in the color section I'm gonna choose blues and to make it cooler I'm gonna drag down this yellow to the left side right here and you can see right away it becomes so much more bright see? and bluer <laughs> okay so I'm gonna press OK and that's pretty much all I do for the select color so yeah I hope you guys liked it and I hope it was easy enough for the beginners 
I get asked to do tutorials for, for beginners a lot, so I thought this was super easy for the color correction. I hope you guys like my tutorial and leave me requests down below or also on my Instagram and check out all the links I posted in the description bar. Bye!